Welcome back to my channel guys, it's me, Irvin with another manga chapter review. Yes, on one of your favorite series like mine, Jinru Game Crazy Fox. Uh, I'm actually, I'm planning to get videos out all this week on this. Uh, I, I am going to be caught up hopefully uh, by the end of next week. So uh, make sure you keep up with all these videos. Anyways, this is going to be on chapter 14. We're just six away to be uh, up to date and then we'll see how many more chapters there is after that. But for now, let's see what happened in chapter 14. Before I say anything though, a few things, if you haven't done so by now, uh, go check out the giveaway. It is open for everyone and anyone who wants to be part of the giveaway. Uh, also, if you want to further support this channel uh, and be part of the giveaway, subscribe. You have to subscribe to be part of it and uh, you can support me by just subscribing as well. Uh, also, there is the Discord open for everyone and anyone. Uh, you can talk about this series or other series with me, uh, so join the discord so we guys we, we, we can have a conversation about the manga we're reading lastly guys um, there is a spoiler alert on this chapter because I will talk about it in some detail there's 13 other chapter reviews that I have out already for you guys so you guys can check those out but every single one like this one there's a spoiler alert because I talk about them in some detail because uh, I want to I, I really want to figure out the story with you guys and see who who is who in this story? Okay, last we left off, uh, Kentaro pointed his finger at Mori Ayaka and saying that she was the werewolf and Mori with uh, luck, and I'm, I'm gonna say it's just luck, was able to turn it back on him and she now is confessing that she's the spiritualist. So, everyone is almost at the at the point of believing her but they still want to get some answers out of her see what why she says she's a spiritualist right Kentaro says that's impossible she's a werewolf she's just trying to find a way around it you know believe me now Kentaro from the previous day at least they know he's a little tricky you know he got um Sumina Ana killed, so people are a little weary about him. They're not really sure if they should trust him. There's one person, though, that does speak up, and this hurts Mori Ayaka in the heart, and that is Takigawa. Takigawa speaks up and says, well, it could have been that one of the four people that are dead was really the spiritualist, and Mori Ayaka is just faking it, right? Um, now, Mori Ayaka obviously is infatuated and loves Tegawa even though they don't really know each other and she in her head starts calculating who is who right she's like okay wait who who was who's the werewolves right if Tegawa is going against me it's probably because I uh, he's a werewolf right um, so should I side with the werewolves so she's kind of trying to figure out where it is. Now she does remember that um, Kentaro was the one that got Sumidana killed. So she's wondering, okay, I thought Kentaro was a werewolf and I thought that was confirmed, but maybe he's not a werewolf and maybe Sumidana was a werewolf. That's why Takigawa and Sumidana were joined together. So she's trying to figure out how many, because uh, the question t t to her is, because her power is she knows who each person that died, she knows who, who what, what position they were, right? So they're asking her what position uh, or, 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 or how many werewolves were killed. So if Taigawa is a werewolf and was in cahoots with Sumiriana, then Sumiriana was a werewolf. And she's like, well, the chances are one or none werewolves are killed because there's four dead, eight still alive, right? The chances are it's either one or none. So she automatically says one, one has died. And everyone is like, what, what, one has died? Who was it? She says, Sumiriana. Sumiriana was a werewolf and she, in fact, uh, we, we got her killed and, 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 we, and, and that's that. Now, people are still wondering what the heck is going on, if she's telling the truth. Now, Miller, Joe Miller, who is, uh, he kind of has been in the background these past two ap chapters and episodes, he speaks up, right? And, and, and right out of the blue, Kentaro says, 
okay, why are you speaking up now? Like, it's gonna make you look like you're lying because if you say it's me, then people aren't gonna believe you, right? They, I, I just, I don't think they're gonna believe you. Um, but Miller says, no, I didn't check you. Again, Miller's one of the ones that has confess that he's a prophet now i kind of think he is the prophet i mean it's the only one left so uh more likely joe miller is the prophet so joe miller then confesses that the yuki the other werewolf is a werewolf he's like i tested her she's a werewolf uh everyone looks at yuki and they're like wait what and that's how the chapter ends uh okay what do we figure out here? Mori is essentially not even close to figuring out who people, uh, who they are, right? Uh, Kentaro is really wanting to lynch Mori. He's trying to get her out of the picture. Um, according to Yuki, Yuki Mori can, could be dangerous. You know, Mori Ayaga could be a character that um, may backfire on him so i'm gonna guess that's why he wants to get hit, get rid of her as fast as possible now the problem with that is moriyaka has uh ozawa and maybe miari uh behind her back uh Mo momoko is kind of like a wild card i would say uh joe joe miller i think from kintaru and mori joe miller probably uh sides with moriyaka uh Takigawa, even though he has been friendly with Mori, uh, we can see in this chapter that he's maybe not so friendly with her anymore. Now, is it because he's the third werewolf? Or is it because he doubts that she is what she says to be? And he maybe is the spiritualist? I don't know. Um, and then lastly, Yuki being quiet has again backfired on her, but if Joe Miller was the prophet, he probably tested it on her because of what Kentaro had said in the previous day. The quiet ones sometimes are the ones that are hiding and trying to figure things out, and most of the time, those are werewolves, right? So we got they got rid of one one of the quiet ones, which was Sumida Ana. Now he probably had a second person that he could test, which was the only one that else is quiet, and that's Yuki. So. Could be that Joe Miller is the prophet and he actually has confirmed it uh, by showing who the real werewolf is. What's the problem here? The problem is the next night they're probably going to go for Joe Miller. Now, there's obviously two sides to that. It could be that the bodyguard is still alive and the bodyguard can protect Joe Miller overnight. So, they might not go after him because of that reason, but he is a threat because he is confirming more and more that he is actually the prophet. So we'll have to see what happens. For now, guys, it's moving at a great pace. Uh, the drama is in intensifying. And uh, I really love this one above the other two because it, it builds up to deaths. It doesn't just give you a death every uh, chapter. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this. If you have not done so by now, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell button if you guys don't mind and you'll be notified when, when I go live and upload videos. Uh, again, there is a giveaway happening. Go check it out. It is open for everyone and anyone who wants to be part of it. Um, I think that is all. Thank you. And like always, don't be strangers. See you guys.